Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create a new table from an existing table with multiple dimensions and multiple measures. So in this video I want to show you how uh, you can utilize one of the inbuilt function which is uh, summarized columns and uh, that is the advisable that we have two different columns like summarize and uh, summarize columns summarize is something which i have covered it previously summarize columns i am covering it today and uh, that is much more optimized and useful as compared to the summarize function so i want to show you how you can do that and create a table before i move ahead just a quick information that this sheet which is a live google sheet that you are seeing is having all of my videos and they are linked present in the column B. Also some of the exercises, the workout Wednesday exercises which I have posted is also present in the second tab that you can utilize, go through the solutions that I have posted and, uh, and uh, you know enhance your learning. So with that, uh, let me go to the Power BI and show you this in action. All right, so here I am in the Power BI and in the Power BI we have this orders table and in the orders table we will going to choose couple of columns like product category we have customer segment we have sales profit and all of these types of things and uh, we will going to create a dyn the not dynamic but a custom table that is let's say based on a very specific need rather than you know pulling all the information which may be sometimes slower uh, in your huge data set right now I think it has only 10,000 rows so will not going to impact much but if you have 1 million rows you are always looking for some sort of optimization uh, for speci specifically for those scenarios where you want to show the information in a particular uh, chart and you want it to be fast so for that reason let's say we want to create a table I am coming over here in the data section as you can see I clicked it over there and then I'm clicking on the new table in this new table I will going to say summarize underscore calls underscore table just some dummy name which I am giving and I am using this function summarize columns and here I can start specifying the group by columns so I want to take let's say product category um, so what do I have is this product category I have a segment which is customer segment so I have taken multiple dimensions now I take multiple measures for example first is sales and we will put an expression is sum of sales which is this right then second is let's say our profit and I will again put an expression under simple sum which is profit okay so now we have this we are closing the summarize columns and we will click ok as soon as we'll click ok this table is now part of your visualization so as you can see compared to let's say this table which has so many columns and so many rows to this table which has probably uh, 12 rows if i am not wrong and only four columns so fetching this data from this table becomes relatively easy only in those scenarios let's say where you don't want a lot of filtering via let's say these uh, this these column values for example order priority or anything right so in, in scenarios like those you can create a table using the summarize column and as you can see it is quite fast you just write what you want over here and you get the output so then you can go ahead and utilize it let's say you want to create a table right so now the summarized column table is present here you enable the dimension values you show the measures and you get the output so whatever visualization you want you can get it very quickly very easily uh, for those optimized scenarios especially you know if I if I remember this you know for for any specific presentation need where we want you know just specific visualizations to be created or already present where we can just pick and choose and put it over there so with that I wanted to show you how you can do this and uh, utilize this great functionality where you can create custom tables for your need and this is just starting you know uh, where you can 
just start with a simple table like this to a more complex table with couple of let's say more column not just from one table but let's say from orders to financial consumer complaint if let's say that is a related table or a social media if that is a related table you can simply start specifying the columns from different tables and put it together the only thing is the technically from a data modeling perspective or table perspective it should make sense right so with that information, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.